What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on the 289 series. On the previous video we installed the oil pan, the oil pump, and the oil screen. However, on this video we're going to be installing the lifters, the push rods, and the rocker arms. We're also going to be adjusting the, the hydraulic lifters and the valves. We're going to be using um, CompCam lifters. I'll be putting the part number and the link for them down below. Um, before you use them, we're going to go ahead and clean them up really good. Okay, so before installing each lifter, we're going to use um, some assembly lube. This is uh, some ultra slick from Permatex. I'll put a link down in the description as well. I'm going to get it on all the mating surface. I'm really going to rub it in there. And make sure we have enough for the flat tappet, for the cam. Once we have it all nice and coated, we're going to go ahead and just slide it in. See right there. There we go, and then we're going to do the same for the rest. Okay, so now it's time for the push rods. I like to grab a little bit of a assembly lube and just rub it around the, the outside of the ball part without clogging the, the um, hole in the middle. So we're just gonna go ahead and slide them in. Okay, all of them are now in. Okay, next up we're gonna be putting on the rockers. Like I said, I like to put a little bit of assembly lube on the ends of the push rods, just um, so it could have a little bit of lubrication on the first start. So we're just gonna go ahead and place our rockers down. Alright, all the rockers are now on. Next step is we're going to be putting in the pivot ball um, or pivot nut. I'm not too sure what it's called, but I'll put the link down below. You can also put a little bit of assembly lube on this one as well. All right, now those are in. Now we're gonna install our um, rocker nuts. Just gonna do them hand tight and we're gonna adjust them later. All right, so to start off the valve adjustment, we're gonna make sure we're at top dead center and we're gonna start at cylinder number one. So, you can see they're pretty loose. So, we're gonna go ahead and push up and down on the push rod 
So you can see there's play and we're gonna get rid of that play. So I'm pushing up and down until I can't move up and down anymore. Still a little bit. Okay, and after we reach that no lash, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a half a turn. And that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and do it on the other one. Okay, no lash, and half a turn. All right, so we're gonna be following the firing order, so next cylinder would be cylinder number five. So, before we do cylinder number five, we're gonna go ahead and rotate the crankshaft 90 degrees. All right, so same thing. Okay, no left, and half a turn. Next valve. Okay, no lash, and half a turn. Okay, once again, 90 degrees on the crank, and we're moving to cylinder number four. And half a turn. Cylinder number two. Now cylinder number six. All right, so all the valves are now adjusted. It's under one through eight. Again, uh, rotating 90 degrees through each um, through each cylinder. Uh, I'm gonna go over it one more time just to double to double check. <laughs> 